Hi, uh, this is Ramin Huryani from Micro Medical Devices. I am doing a quick tutorial video for uh, installation and use of the new mobile B-Scan software. Um, in this video, I will show you how to install the mobile B-Scan and then how to use the, the new software. The first thing you want to do, if you have an older version of the Palm Scan software on your system, is to uninstall uh, the older version. And uh, once you've uninstalled it, you can proceed with installing the new version. Uh, while this uh, software is getting uninstalled on my system, I want to show you how to f you first uh, you need to find out what type of PC you're installing the software on. In order to do that, you, I recommend that you uh, go to the My Computer, do the computer um, icon on your startup and uh, click Properties. And in the properties window, the, there is a setting that shows you the system type, which is a, my system is a 64-bit operating system. Uh, you need to know if it's a 32-bit operating system or you, you are using or a 64-bit. Um, well, okay, the installation is done. Now that we know it's a 64-bit operating system, I am going to go to my... H drive, which is a USB stick on my system, and go to the release 64 and double click on the setup.exe. And you want to do this without uh, or before plugging in the USB mobile B scan into your system. So all of this stuff has to be done prior to uh, plugging in the, U the USB um, connection. The system, the installer will go through and see what files need to be installed on your system. It will ask you a few questions on where you want to drive it. I, I think the default values are probably the best to leave. And uh, once the installation is done, uh, next you want to um, launch the application and then plug in the USB Pro. Okay, installation is completed. I'm going to close the installer. And on your desktop, now you should have a palm scan icon. If you double click on that, the palm scan icon will open up the palm scan window. And here you will see the different modes that are uh, available. Not all of them are available right now, but will be available shortly. So um, the A scan and Pachymeter are the original devices that are available, that were available. Now we've added the B scan option. So uh, with the B scan option, um, you just now you need, you need to plug the probe in in order to be able to do the scans. But before I do that, I want to show you some of the features about the patients and the admin of the device. If you look under the patient's window, uh, you will see the B-Scan mode as, again as one of the options. And there are two types of um, settings that you can have as a uh, the type of images or uh, documents that you save for each patient. One is an image file, the other is a CD file. A CD is actually a movie file. And uh, these are here are the list of your patients. So I will add a new patient. I will say test MMD as the name and uh, click add. Test MMD will get added. Right now it has no records in CME or image. Um, from here I can click scan and the device and we will enter the B scan page. So in order to zoom in uh, and see a little bit better. I'll move the screen and uh, okay. Next, we are going to plug in the USB mobile B scan probe into the system. And uh, on your system, if this is the first time you have plugged the USB probe, the device will go through the installation of the probe USB drivers. It will take a few seconds and then you will get a uh, message that the installation has been uh, completed and the device is ready to use. 
it's important that that during this time you do not unplug the USB probe. If this happens, the drivers will get corrupted, and you probably have to reboot your PC before you can uh, uh, continue. Okay, so now that the probe has been plugged in, uh, let me go through some of the features on the system. Um, these are the B mode controls, which are the gains for the near, mid, far. These are the near, mid, far gains. I is for intensity and C is for contrast. You can also change the depth of the image that you're scanning from between 3 to 10 centimeters. Every time you change the depth, the frequency of the probe gets updated up here. So at 5 centimeter, you're running the probe at 15 megahertz. At 6 centimeter, it switches back down to 12 megahertz. So those are the two frequencies we can run the OP12 megahertz probe. Those are the modes that it can be run at. Uh, the calipers are used to taking measurements. There's two calipers, caliper A, which is in red, and caliper B, which is in blue. They give you the measurements uh, that you can make on the image. And the patient information, the user, which could be the uh, physician, or the group, which could be the hospital or the clinic name, they're all displayed here on the corner of the image, as well as, as well as the eye that has been selected. So if I switch on the OS, you will see that the OS, uh, the eye type changes. Also, the caliper values are also displayed here um, in that corner as well. So let me pick a, uh, an in, a depth and click the scan button. And now you can see that you can see that the the scans are going on. I am going to place the probe on my own eye and take a quick measurement. This is obviously without any gel, and as you can see, you can get pretty good image even without any coupling gel. Uh, now that I have uh, a movie captured, I will play it back so I see what are the frames. I can pause it and then use the... But first you have to click on the, um, the slider bar, but then you can use the arrows on your keypad to switch between the different images. Once you, have the, you see the image that you want to capture, you can use the Save Image button here. If you wanted to save the entire movie, you can use the Save Scene button up here. Uh, you, you, if you wanted to see the A mode vector, you click on the A mode, uh, checkbox here, you will see a green uh, vector selection tool that matches with the slider that's under the, the V slider. So that tells you which vector you're actually looking at. Uh, and the red graph here is the information within that vector that we're looking at. The, the, G, the G slider is the gain of the A mode vector. You want to see it higher or lower, you can adjust it by adjusting the gain. And um, you can also place cursors again as usual. And uh, let's like, make this measurement just for an um, example here. You can place some uh, text about your findings. This is a test. Instead. And uh, <clears throat> at this point, I'm going to save this particular image. Because we had assigned a patient name, it automatically saves the image under that patient. If there was no patient selected and we had come in uh, into this page without going through the patient's page first, it would um, uh, prompt you to pick an, a name or add a new patient to be saved for this uh, scan. I'm also going to save the CINI for this patient, and next thing I'm going to click the Print Report button. It's going to take a few seconds to uh, generate the PDF uh, report that's going to be created for this image. And uh, now we can see the PDF. Let me expand it. 
Uh, in the report, we have the, the title of the report, which is the B-scan report, the I that was selected, the date and the time of the scan, the information for the patient, the group, the user, the actual image that we was captured, with the information that was uh, in the t top left corner, uh, as well as the notes that were entered for that, all the B-scan parameters, as a, like the depth that was selected, the frequency, the intensity controls, the gain controls, and the A mode parameters are all included in the report. The name of the probe, the ID, which is the, actually the serial number of the probe, as well as the our company's information is all included in the report. And this report can be easily printed. Uh, it's in a PDF format, so it can be saved on your PC. It can be transferred to an EMR, or can be printed to a PC, uh, to a regular print, printer. I'm going to minimize this, and uh, let's see what haven't we discussed. So let's click the Done button and see the records that were generated for this test MMD. Uh, patient. So if I place it in the image, you will see that there is one image, and if I put it in Cine, you will see an Cine. I'm going to open the Cine image by clicking Select and Open. And as you can see, it, the device or the, the software automatically plays back the captured image. Again, you can pause it at any time move the slider over to uh, any of the frames. Um, okay, just a couple of things on the use of the, the graph. To clear the calipers, you just use a left mouse uh, click anywhere on the screen, just and it clears that particular caliper. So another one clears the caliper. To clear the A mode, you uncheck this checkbox. And to zoom in, you use the left mouse button and you double click on the screen. Now you will get a zoomed in version of the image. Now you can use this left mouse button to press down and drag uh, so that you can pan the image to anywhere that you want to look at. To unzoom, you double click again and it goes back to the original zoom. Uh, there's only two zoom values available. Uh, the zoom out and uh, zoom in. And um, that's basically all I have for you. And um, in the future, we'll be, uh, you know, adding some new features, and uh, I will update this uh, short video to include those new additional features. Thank you very much, and have a great day.